So welcome ladies and gentlemen back today for the match against Watford at home. Um, we're lying in 4th place in the table currently. Watford are lying in 14th. 4 wins, 7 losses, 4 draws. And uh, yeah, if you watched the last episode you would have known what happened between of course ourselves and Anderlecht. And we are now unfortunately not in the Champions League anymore. The luck wasn't on our side. Uh, but we're going to have to try for the Europa League and see if we can produce what United did last season and win it. But now still some good teams in there, like Bayern Munich, etc. Anyway, uh, we've got Watford today. Then we've got Swansea coming up. Southampton, it gets very busy to the end of the year. And then we're going to move into the new year with Arsenal. And then the transfer window does open. So any recommendations, keep them coming in. And I'll try and, and see, you know, if we do want to buy anyone or, or what happens. Uh, anyway, today's match, a couple of changes. Uh, Jones will come in. So he'll replace Lindelof. Uh, Damian's going to start ahead of Valencia just because he's up for it. I'm going to go for the combo of Ibra and Lukaku. Uh, they're both absolutely buzzing. So I would expect some goals from a Marcial Rashford. He scored two in the last game. We'll keep playing him. Fellaini will come in with Matic. So, yeah, I think that should be sufficient to hopefully get the job done. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's just dive right into this one. Uh, I might up the time. Uh, I'm playing, well, the last game I put it to 12 minutes. So I think we'll change this one to 13. 30 minute game time gives us enough chances and creations. So anyway, let's do it at home, which is always an advantage. Uh, let's hope and see if we can pick up the three points. So a beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. Manchester United and Watford. Facing each other today, Man United lying in fourth, Watford down there in 14th position. So away we go. The end of the season draws near, or end of the year draws near, not end of the season. We've still got half a season to go. Lots of talking points, I'm sure, to come as well. Today, Lukaku and Ibrahimovic starting together. It hasn't happened too much this season. Luigi's decided for it today. Still playing the 4-4-2. It worked against Anderlecht. Will it work again today? Good ball. Watson. Some possession here by Watford. Dini and uh, Luke Shaw saw that run all the way. Carrillo. Let's see how read the pass. He wants it there and he's found him. There he comes. Gets it uh, onto that left peg, but Watford doing a good job of just closing him down. Physical challenge. Fellaini overlapped by uh, Luke Shaw. Looking for Ibrahimovic, and that is phenomenal. It really is. Outside of the boot, class is all you can say. He took this so, so early. As soon as Shaw plays him in, doesn't need a touch, just bang, outside of the boot, bottom corner, 1-0 United. And that's what experience does for you. The keeper just wasn't expecting it. He would be known for his pace, Ibrahimovic, but obviously he's getting, uh, getting on a little bit, so he's quite got the speed. It there, Martial. Fellaini. Luke Shaw. So back to Fellaini again. Tees it up to find Matic! And that was an absolute whaler. United with 60% possession so far. Come short. Cuts back into the, the old left peg. Challenged by Watson. Jan Rats. Pereira. Watford have really got to try and use him because he's a, he's a creative player. Ball up the line by Dini. Jones has got the wrong side of his man. And that was a real strike. A real chance. But they are absolutely furious with... What a market here. I think it was Jones who's just got beat far too easy. That isn't far away. Hey, that was a bit of a risky pass. 
short. Rashford. Bit of closing down there. It's a poor place to lose it, though. And it's going to be Ibrahimovic. It's a real strike, wasn't it? It really got a hold of that. Keeper with a one-handed tip away. Romelu Lukaku has actually been working on his, uh, his long throws. And he's now got the ability to, to whip one in there, but he's generally the player you want on the end of the long throw and not taking him. Just to swing it out wide. Darmian does well, but he's given it away. Delivered in, flicked on by Dini, and if he got a little bit more on that, he could have been saying 1-1. One, one. Sure, that's class. It's risky, but it's class. United have worked it well here. Lukaku. Ibrahimovic, Lukaku, what about this for a move? It would have been a fantastic goal. One side of the field to the other, as quick as can be. Here is Matic. Damian. Back to uh, Marcial. Plenty of time to deliver, and Ibrahimovic has made it 2 0. He's done it again. And I just don't think the keeper saw it quick enough. Damian back to Martial. Just really whips this in. A bit of fizz on it. And really should the keeper do better? Probably. It is right at him. There wasn't a whole lot of pace on the header itself. But it is 2 0. Ziegler. Challenged by Damian. Lukaku wants it up the line, he's found it. Lukaku does need some support. Plays it back in, it's Ibrahimovic, and it could have been a hat-trick in the first half. So United have made one change, Lingard coming on for Rashford. The last 45 minutes, United with a, a convincing first half display, five chances for them. Two Zlatan Ibrahimovic goals. Watford having three chances, just not enough to really cause any major problems. United knows a chance to score a couple more this half. Lukaku, nicely done. Lingard towards Martial, that's a good save, although it was straight at him. What a chance for Martial to get on the score sheet. All he had to do was really hit either side of the goal. Matic has lost it, Capo's done well. Let's just see Watford, there's not enough players forward for them and there's the problem. They win it back, you've only got one player to look for. Oh, that's nicely done, and Pereira's onside here and that is a different class of a save from De Gea. Thought he scored, he probably thought he had scored. Look at this, it's great training routine there. What about that for a reset reflex save? Kabul, the culprit. Referee says, quit it. We'll have another look at it, and just a, a little bit of elbow to face. Well, even Himovic has stepped up, unsurprisingly. There's a bit of a hole. And can Slatan find it? No, but he can find the woodwork. And that is unlucky. There's the saves. Three to four. Delivered in near post, not the best delivery. Lingard couldn't get there, went for a bicycle kick. Lingard's completely fluffed it, and De Gea's there again, and Watford suddenly with a bit of pressure. Lingard, and here will do, trying to find Zlatan. There's just a flourish of Watford, suddenly the whole dynamics of the game has changed. Watford near post, and that's deflected over. So that went for the spectacular. Get it out wide, deliver it in. It's unlucky, but he just hit it into the ground. So Fellaini will be the final substitution as Juan Mata comes on to replace him. The ball shoving the big man out the way. Gets it going early. Mata. Lukaku, can Ibrahimovic possibly grab the hat-trick? He wants to try and find him. Ibrahimovic goes down, referee! Oh, that is 
I don't know, you be the judge. Well, let's have another look at this. Is this a penalty? First of all, it's brilliant control. Ibrahimovic gets it down on the chest, through on goal, and he just look at his back leg. He kind of catches the defender's back leg right here, you can see, and then he goes into a spiral. So I don't know if the defender technically knows much about that, but I don't think the referee was going to give it, and he didn't. Watford make their final change. 92 minutes on the clock, one minute to play. Lukaku. Can't power his way through, goes down, but there's the full time whistle, and Manchester United win. Thanks to two Zlatan Ibrahimovic goals in the first half. So there it is, eight shots to seven. It was pretty close in the end. Ultimately, they had more possession. Man of the match, no surprise, was Zlatan. So are the results, Man City, I mean, I don't get that. See, this is what I mean. We did crap in the Champions League, not too bad in the league. You know, a Man City there lost to West Brom. But in the Champions League, they won every single game. Crazy. Anyway, Tottenham won their match. Uh, Everton drew. Southampton won. Arsenal beat West Ham. Liverpool beat Brighton. Of course, Chelsea won. So basically, everyone won that we didn't want to win. Apart from City, who are way down there now in seventh. And it's unchanged in the top five. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back for the next game against Swansea City. We're at home yet again. I've got to try and keep the momentum going. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back very, very shortly. Keep the... Uh, recommendations for any type of players coming in. But until next time, take care.